When you have a lot of cholesterol in your body, what the body does with excess cholesterol is that it searches in the body for where it can store it. And so what it finds is that there are miles of blood vessels. So what it does is that it parks that excess cholesterol on the inner lining of our blood vessels, which causes the blood vessels to be narrow. So that is what now leads to poor, um, um, con uh, poor circulation and numbness and swelling and so on. It's the berry that grows on the, uh, the, the stem, you just break them off. And, and they're peppery, and you can just pop them in your mouth as well, just like the bird pepper. Onion is also very good in terms of getting rid of cholesterol, and that can also be made into a tea. If you take a bird pepper and look at it, um, it is telling you what it's good for. Aha, uh -huh, my Jam Hearts family, how you do? Good, good again, we're back. And I say we because I have Dr. Israel back with me. In the last video, he, he actually answered some popular questions about common ailments. In fact, he went ahead and suggested medicinal herbs for most of the common ailments. But there's one that we missed. Should I be there? What about cholesterol? Because persons has been lighting up the comments about cholesterol, asking questions about it. So today, we have dedicated this special episode just to talk about Jamaican herbs for cholesterol. And I'm back with the man himself, Dr. Ben Israel. But just before we jump across to him, I'm going to remind you, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, for whatever reason, don't feel bad. It's a good time now. Hit that subscribe button. Tap the bell notification. And that way you'll see updated on all my latest videos. I've done all kinds of videos, right? But we're doing a special series on medicinal herbs of Jamaica. And you don't want to miss that. So do it now. And I'll see you on the inside let's go across to dr ben israel doctor how hey you wesley <laughs> i'm great back. nice to be back on again welcome back people i'm loving it loving to hear loving you man the body can't get enough of you so today i want to thank you again for taking the time out to dig into cholesterol uh we're making it up with them we're not just mentioning three herbs we're actually gonna go seven herbs seven jamaican herbs for cholesterol and we're not gonna delay i'm gonna ask you to jump in there right now let's go all right so herb number one is of course cayenne pepper um because it helps to thin the blood and helps to get the cholesterol out um uh, number two of course would be ginger uh, because you, another blood thinner. just before you jump to number two doc tell us how you use um number one how, how do you how do you how do you suggest it's consumed most of the herbs that I'm going to be describing are herbs that are also considered to be seasonings. So a lot of these herbs can be used in your food while you're cooking. Uh, and of course, they can be used, you know, kind of pepper can be used in, in sprinkling. It can be used over, it can be added to juices. It can be added to, smooth, to smoothies, you know. So it can be applied in a number of ways. But for the most part, a lot of these herbs are instrumental in flavoring and cooking okay so 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 so, so for the cayenne you're, you're suggesting in in your food the you sprinkle it in your food uh yes for the most part you can take it as a capsule as well because there's cayenne pepper capsules or yeah. um and because it's a pungent herb it's not one of those herbs that per, uh, it's spicy you know? it's not one of those herbs that people can ingest or like that you know but it can be it can be used frequently in terms of food preparation. Awesome. And what, if I, what if I tell you that, that I have a little tree at the back of the house and every now and then I take two or three and just swallow? Am I in trouble? Is that okay? Yeah, because it's, it's ironic because if you look at those, uh, you're talking about the bird pepper. If you look at those pepper, um, they're very different from... Uh, uh, and I'm, you may be talking about scotch bonnet, but I'm talking about bird pepper because bird pepper is one of those peppers that is natural. It's not, it's not, 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 not being genetically modified. Yeah. And funny enough, if you take a bird pepper and look at it, um, it is telling you what it's good for because the bird pepper almost looks like the organ of the heart. Ah. So what's nature telling you that one of its curative property is supporting the organ of the heart. So two to three. You can get the uh, bird pepper, you can dry it or dehydrate it, 
You can take swallow anywhere from three to five of them. They're already the right size, so once you're dehydrated, you can uh, you can just put them in a jar, um, and then you can just pop them in your mouth and take them as a tablet. Oh, I don't dehydrate it though. I just swallow it. That's all. <laughs> yep. Yeah. All right. Works just the same. But the all person right. who's not in the, in the blessed climate like us in Jamaica, they have to they have to preserve it in a form where they can bring it back home yeah. with them, or they can ask somebody to send it to them. Yes, yes, yes. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. Number one. Number two. Um, so bird pepper. The next one is black pepper. Not a, a very uh, a powerful herb as well. It works similar to the bird pepper, but it has a number of other properties. So black pepper is number two. Uh, number three is ginger, um, because you, that also is used for flavoring. Hold on. Just before you go to ginger, though, do we have black pepper here in Jamaica? All right. So it, 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 it does. There's a wild form of it. Um, um, there's a wild form of it. Most per persons would know pepper elder. Ah. Pepper elder, there are, because I've seen it in the and I've seen um, yes, yes. the uh, family of the black pepper here. Um, I, I think I was at Frenchman's Cove uh, walking through the, the canopy of forest, and I saw some there. So I know that it is here. So it, it's the berry that grows on the, uh, the stem, and you just break them off. And, and they're peppery, and you can just pop them in your mouth as well, just like the bird pepper. They are, they are excellent uh, for thinning the blood, but we, we know most of these herbs as spices. And hence uh -huh. we talk about herbs and spices. Yeah. Okay, great. Great, man. Mm -hmm. Black pepper. Number three, you said ginger. Yes, tell us a little more about that. Yeah, number three is ginger, another very powerful herb that adds flavor to our life, but also very well in terms of helping with not only circulation, but also helping in lowering cholesterol. So if it is that, because what happens is that, um, Wesley, when you have a lot of cholesterol in your body, what the body does with excess cholesterol is that it searches in the body for where it can store it. And so what it finds is that there are miles of blood vessels. So what it does is that it parks that excess cholesterol and the inner lining of our blood vessels, which causes the blood vessels to be narrow. So that is what now leads to poor, um, um, con uh, poor, circulation and numbness and swelling and so on so people who have high cholesterol tend to have swellings and numbness because of the amount of cholesterol build up in the blood in the arteries and the veins ah all right good so that's the ginger and, and again how do you can you consume the ginger you, you recommend ginger you know as a tea it's you know it's it's easier it's it's it's, it's a very relaxing comfortable way to ingest it ginger tea uh, which brings me to number four. Number four is onion. Onion is also very good in terms of getting rid of cholesterol. And that can also be made into a tea. I know some person may say, you can have onion tea. Yes, um, it can be ingested as a tea. And funny enough, when you when you make it as a tea, a lot of the, 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 the unpleasant flavor that you taste when it is raw, a lot of that is gone are removed because of the heat during the process all right we're learning guys we're learning give the actually i'm gonna pause now and just ask ask the team again ask the viewers again guys to give doc a thumbs up you know the routine right give him a thumbs up now this man is this man is life changing lives across the globe and i'm so proud to be able to partner with him to get the message out you know i'm i'm, I'm really thankful so give him give him a like you don't have to give me give him a like right now Number four, number five, number five, sir. Um, cloves. Cloves. Cloves is one of those spices that I don't know how many persons know about it, but it's one of those herbs that is very good for lowering cholesterol. What I love about clove also is that, and, 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 in addition to all these herbs, because a lot of these herbs that help with cholesterol also help with parasites. And mm -hmm. one of the unique property about clove is, unlike all these that I've mentioned, clove is maybe the only a uh, uh, herb here that destroys the parasite in its egg stage, in its uh, embryonic stage. So clove is also another herb that brings heat into the body and helps to get cholesterol out. All right, so clove is one of them. Um, then there is basil. Wild basil or basil? Anyone, wild basil or sweet basil. Um, they're also very good in terms of seasoning meat. But it also helps to get rid of 
cholesterol helps to lower your cholesterol. As I said, most of these herbs are actually spices, um, as you can see. And so they, they are pretty much, they can be incorporated in, into your food preparation, which makes it very practical to use them. Outside of the food, though, is there another way to use the wild basil? You can consume them as teas. All of them can be consumed as teas, including the uh, black pepper and including the cayenne pepper. <laughs> they can all be consumed as teas. I don't know if what many people realize that if you take bird pepper or black pepper, it is only the first three or four sup that are actually pungent or, or hot. For, you know, as long as you keep on supping, then the pungency goes away. That burning sensation magically just disappears. Ah, again, again, okay. oh, again, Leslie, I have to say to persons that this, of course, is general information for persons yeah. who have ulcer of a person who have other underlying health condition, none of what I'm saying may be applied. And that is the reason why uh, we, uh, we also have a consultation um, geared towards um, hypertension because we know that we have to speak to persons. We have to hear from them what is happening to better guide them as it relates to all of what I'm saying. So none of what I'm saying is advice. It is just general information. And I can't yeah. overemphasize that enough. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Because everybody's situation is different. And so you don't have to have some sort of guide. Yes. Uh, appreciate, yes. appreciate that. Some things in your administration with yeah. all these yeah. products would, would, would negatively or adversely affect them. That's why we have the yeah. consultation um, so that you know we can guide persons uh, more mm -hmm. as it relates to their personal needs. And speaking of consultation, guys, there's a link in the description again to speak to the doctor himself there's a, a couple links there if you want to talk to him on cholesterol you know there's a link there as well or just general information you want to you want to you want to consult with him there's a link in the description to get to him as 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 well number seven doc the big one uh last one i know there, there are many but we want to narrow it down to seven so tell me tell us seven the seventh one herbs number uh, seven is turmeric Turmeric. Oh man, I was waiting for that one. Yeah, yeah very famous turmeric. Yes, tell us about that now. How do you? Yes, yeah, it's anti-inflammatory, and um, you know it helps significantly to lower cholesterol because of some important um, uh, fight of plant chemicals that it has. So you know a lot of persons, and I'm, talk, I'm not talking about the powder. I'm talking about the the, the, the herb itself, um, because a lot of persons are now mixing and diluting. So if you can get the rhizome um, itself, and if you can greater it, and if you can use it, then kudos to you. You'll get a much better response than sometimes using the powder because a lot of unscrupulous persons are now diluting the powder with a number of other um, products that compromise quality. It can be consumed as a tea as well. Yeah, I already mentioned that. Actually, guys, we have a, I actually have a... I have a feature, a special feature on Doc, Doc in the, I did a video um, with Miss Simon and her husband, uh, way up in the hills of Hanover. They actually farm tumor. We went there and got the real, as you call it, the rhizome. We got the real, uh, in fact, we, we were even introduced to white turmeric. You know, so that, yeah. that, that was a fun video. So, guys, I, I recommend that you take a look at that one as well in relation to the turmeric here. Uh, there's a question, Doc. I always like to plug in one, a personal one. This is not so personal though, but it's coming from somebody who I know. The person, and this right. is a cayenne, the person took the pepper whole, right? The cayenne pepper. Um, and then it came, it went right through the intestinal, the, 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 the track, large intestines, um, small, large, went and came back out through the anus as a whole pepper. The person was shocked. Wow. They said, What happened? I wonder if something is wrong with me. <laughs> Advice. Give us some advice or guidance on that. What happened? Is it okay? It should be something yeah, to worry about. Um, no, that's not anything to worry about. Um, depending on you know when they eat it and the size of the pepper, it's quite common for persons yeah. to eat certain food and just go right through the gastrointestinal tract and not burst. Nothing is wrong. With that. Um, uh -huh. Nothing is wrong. Nothing is wrong with that. All right, X, awesome, awesome guys. That's it. We wanted to just jump in. Grab the duck and talk about herbs, herbs for cholesterol. And there you have it. Seven Jamaican herbs for cholesterol. Any final words, Doc? 
Yeah, as I said that, um, I always said the persons that cholesterol is a stubborn um, condition. Um, you know, even if you start to take preemptive measures to deal with it, it won't just go away in a, in a, in a, in a week or two week time. It does take some time. So I would encourage persons to stick to a consistent lifestyle adjustment and try to um, stay away from foods that would negatively or adversely affect your cholesterol. And in, 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 a, in a short period of time, you will see the positive results that you're looking for. So if there's anybody who, start, who have started the journey and they have become discouraged because they're not seeing the results or getting the results that they, that they want, then remember, it, it took some time for your cholesterol to accumulate to the point to where it is at. So it, it is going to take some time before you start to see positive changes. So don't be discouraged. Fantastic, fantastic. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. My pleasure. Uh, guys, that's the man again, Dr. Ben Herlock. And this time, talking about herbs. Jamaican herbs for cholesterol. What do you make us feel? I always love to hear from you. Just talk to me. Just, um, just some, some, some words, some feedback in the, in the, in the comments. And if you missed the first couple of videos that we did with him, he spoke about how to identify herbs using your senses, right? Your taste, your 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 sight, and so on. The first video we did on that, he followed up on another video with uh, some popular question and answers, actually talking about herbs for common ailments, including diabetes, high blood pressure, a detox, kidney disease, cancer, enlarged prostate, uh, erectile issues. U uterine fibroid issues all of those stuff he spoke about that if you missed those videos don't feel too bad there's a there there are actually links in the description you want to check him out and remember there's a link to him if you want to talk to him uh, a, a little more there's a link to to consult with him in the description as well that's it see you in the next video